All right, the Bloc Québécois wants to ban the cure pan from Parliament. It's the ceremonial dagger worn by Sikhs. This debate comes just after security guards this week stopped four Sikhs from entering Quebec's legislature because some were carrying the knives. Quebec has already considered legislation which would deny government service to anyone wearing a face covering. The Parti Québécois wants to regulate cure pans as well. Sikh groups are condemning the idea of banning them from Parliament. This debate hits close to home for Navdeep Baines. He is the Liberal MP for Mississauga Brampton South, and he does carry the cure pen. Welcome to you. Well, thank you very much for having me. Are you carrying the cure pen now? Yes, I am. Where is it? Can you show it? Sure. Okay. I actually, actually have it underneath my shirt, underneath okay. my pants, but I thought I'd take it out for you. Okay. And so I carry it with me uh, all the time, and particularly since uh, I've been elected in 2004 in the House of Commons. Okay, so it's about the size of your hand. I mean, it all depends. It's a personal choice, mm -hmm. uh, different sizes for different people. It really is one based on one's faith and one's commitment and one's desire, what size they want to wear. What part does it play? Why do you carry it? It really is just an external manifestation of one's commitment to be a better person. The cure panache is a, is a representation to fight against injustice and inequality. It's not a weapon by any means. Uh, and it's ironic, the individuals that were going to the Quebec legislature were going to fight for someone else's religious freedom. And what, they were, what do you mean? Bill C-94 about you know, banning the niqab, mm -hmm. uh, not allowing the niqab to be worn. Uh, that's what they went to defend, saying freedom of religion is very much part uh, our Charter Rights and Freedom, very much part of our constitutional democracy, and it needs to be respected, and there needs to be one law for everyone. And so they were going in for that premise, and they were denied access simply because they were wearing their article of faith, in this instance, a cure pen. Okay. A, a cure pen is a dagger, though. It could be, let's say somebody gets angry, yeah. and, they, no, and they, that, they can use it. And these are legitimate questions Canadians have raised in the past. So that's why the Supreme Court looked at this case and decided unanimously, eight nothing in a case so that went all the way to the highest levels, uh, in 2006 regarding a young man that you just showed earlier on that wanted to wear it to school and they said no that cure pen is not a weapon and that you know it has to be properly secured and if there's security concerns the onus is on the institution to determine what those concerns are so I'm wondering why the Quebec legislator has raised this as an issue when this is not a security concern in the House of Commons I warned my cure pen to the US Congress to the Supreme Court so why all of a sudden is this an issue? Why is a bloc politicizing this issue? And if they have concerns, they should have brought that forward in a reasonable manner. We don't need to elevate the political rhetoric on this. We need to take a deep breath and say, hold on, what are the concerns? Let's have a rational debate. And uh, that's the Canadian way. Mm. What has, why do you think the bloc Québécois wants to ban the Kirpan? I think it's fear-mongering, personally. I think it's politics uh, at its worst. Uh, they're really trying to pick on one minority to gain, uh, make some sort of political attraction, and it's unfortunate because they're fully aware of the Supreme Court ruling. They're fully aware that the cure pen is not a weapon. They fully know that I wear one uh, mm -hmm. since 2004. Many of the bloc members have seen it. I've shown it to them. They've asked questions out of curiosity. They've been legitimately asking, why do you wear a turban? Why do you wear a cure pen? And that's what makes Canada so great. We actually have our diversity reflected in the House of Commons, and we have that opportunity to exchange those ideas and different practices. And that's the way we need to uh, deal with this issue, in a very calm, rational way, in a reasonable way. And if there's legitimate concerns, if the Bloc or Gilles Deceppe had concerns, he should have picked up the phone and called me. I would have done my best to explain. But it's unfortunate the way they went about it. Okay. So what are you going to do now? Well, my job is to simply educate uh, and to dispel any of the concerns that have been raised because when the bloc says they want to ban this because they consider this a weapon, they're misleading the Canadian public. It's not a weapon, and it's my job to educate the people what it is and do my best to, to do so in a calm and rational manner and not pit one Canadian against the other and, and deal with it in a way that, that makes us uh, respect each other and have a better understanding. Okay. In, a, in an ex, let's say, an extreme scenario where somebody said, okay, identified you as a Sikh and said, I know he's carrying a cure pan, and uh, perhaps I will try to get that away from him and use it as a weapon. How difficult would that be? It would be fairly difficult, as, uh, as I've shown you. I've taken it out of my shirt, but they would have to untie my shirt. They would have to basically take it out of its case. It would be quite an adventure. Uh, but, uh, because we've made it look, because you've taken it out yes, a little I've bit, taken it, it shirt, looks like actually, it's just sitting that's, there. No, no, no. I actually tuck it in my shirt like this and underneath my pants. So it's not something that's exposed, and that's the way I decide to wear it. Some may wear it on the outside. But really the issue is that anything can be deemed to be a weapon. The pencil here that you have, if I wanted, my intent was to injure you with it, I could take it and stab you with it, mm -hmm. if that's the intent. A stapler, anything, any object, if the intent is to injure someone, you can use anything. But the gear pen does not have that intent. Same with scissors or, uh, or pencil. So it really um, is, 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 needs to be seen in that light. 
that it's not a weapon. And if you see it from that point of view, then you start to get a better appreciation of what the issue is and how to deal with it and really dispel some of the stereotypes, some of the misconceptions, uh, and some of the, uh, you know, the uh, fear mongering that goes along. You say, well, no, this is what it is, and I have a better understanding. And when I showed it to the members of the bloc, they were like, oh, okay. They got to touch it, they got to feel it. It really, I think, uh, helped them understand the issue better, and so that way they can make a more informed uh, decision going forward. So that's why I'm very disappointed. In so when, when were you talking to them and letting oh, them touch Oh, over the past six years, okay. any time. Right. We had candid discussions in the lobby, over dinner, you know, we're, mm -hmm. we get along. They uh, were we nervous might... about it or were they just no, asking curious. out of curiosity? Yeah, we might, you know, I mean, I believe very much in the unity of our country. They know that. We might not agree when it comes to uh, their view on Canada, but we, at a political level, have conversations all the time, ask questions about reasonable accommodation. And I was like, why do you guys use the word accommodate? I don't accommodate my neighbors. I respect my neighbors. I don't tolerate my neighbors. I, I work with them. So I even, we had really good discussions and debates around that issue as well. So that's the kind uh, of way, that's the kind of mentality we need to have to deal with this issue. All right, we'll leave it there. Ontario Liberal MP Navdeep Bames, thank you for coming in and, and showing us your care <laughs> plan and explaining no it. No problem. Thank you very much. Okay.